one. Cheers, mate. All the best. Steve Massey, how things have changed in seven days? Yeah, yeah. No, so that we've had um, two wins on on the trot now, um, which is which is more like it, more like it for this what what we're about with it at this football club. Um, so scrappy one today, but it was a clean sheet. But defensively, we played very very well. Um, I, I did think I was getting frustrated. I did think that maybe that that goal wasn't going to come. I always thought we'd be the, the winner, um, but uh, I'm absolutely thrilled, thrilled to bits, um, particularly at this, this stage of the season and the, and the run that we've been on, we'd have had no luck really at all and it wasn't anything about um, about being lucky today that, that uh, you know, we were lucky to win the game, no, fully, fully des deserved it and the goal, the way it finally came, as you'll see on the, see on the highlights, had a little bit of luck about it, um, but um, the young guy, um, Orlando, that's uh, that's two, two games on the trot now. He's come off the bench um, and banged in the winning goals, um, and he's our lethal goal scorer. He's a goal scorer in form, um, so I'm really, really pleased, pleased for him. And he says he's, he's come on now and, and brought a little bit of spark off the bench uh, on, on the two occasions. But it's a nice trip, that you know we're we're in we're, we're in, in football and the big bit this standard is not league football you know for for day trips like this it's been a good trip out with within it in the in a little bit of style with the with the coach and things and look after the lads and um to go back now with the one nil win uh with with a win it's um it's very nice and that's why we're in we're in football at this level for these times it's a much much better weekend now um the last few weekends have been uh have been a bit sorry uh, and a bit frustrating and depressing, but um, it, it's, a, it's a nice, nice thing. And I, thought we really it. Yeah. I thought your defence looked stronger than I've seen this season. Yeah, they did. I've got um, the back five in, in particular. Um, Mike Searle made a, a super save in the first half. You'll, 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 can you see that on, on the highlights with the deflection? And he had to move very quickly. He palmed it away. Um, uh, and, and he, he really commanded his, his box behind the back four and I thought the whole back, back four, which is uh, two, two, what, 19, 20 year olds <laughs> at centre half. Um, and they played together with it from the under 18s um, and Rhys Shanley and uh, Jordan Bentley, either side of them at full backs, uh, were, were solid, were great. And, and, and Shans is really, really, um, I mean, he's been playing well all season, but he's, he's just like, he's just stepped up his game today and again. Um, and, uh, and I thought the whole, the whole, Back five were um, excellent, and as a, as a unit, they'll be they'll be really looking uh, looking back on that. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, we've done our job, clean clean sheet. Um, and as I say, Harrison Jewell, Josh Story, and second half were uh, immense. And Matty Bai back after his five match suspension. Well, four, four games, four games, but um, yeah, and to be fair, we 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 missed that little bit of. Uh, um, Leadership, and he, he talks. He bosses people around. He turns people where to where, where 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 to go, and he urges people on. And to be fair, he, he lasted probably 20, 30 minutes longer than I, I thought he'd done. He's come back. Actually, he's he's had that time off, and I know he's been he's been working. We told him to say, look, you, you know, you're not just you're back in here and then get yourself fit. You keep yourself fit now. You've got to, which he had a month off um, through uh, the suspension. And he's, he's come back a bit of a slim, slim Matty Bai. Uh, and, and it showed out there and he got through 90 minutes and full, full credit to him. Um, and, and, and as all the, the midfield did with uh, Tyler and Stevie Colwell had used his experience in his, in his head. Um, and I thought the longer the game went on, um, the more uh, the, the, those, those three really got a grip of the game. Um, and I thought, I thought they were great. And finally, what is it like being out of the dugout again? Yeah, oh, yeah. It'll give um, it'll give some people a think. Oh, what's happening there? What's happening there? But it's just just breaks it up. I've got some, uh, you know, with uh, Dan, Dan Harrison and, and Robbo. It's brilliant. And there's different. It's a different voice. I thought maybe look, we had a we had a chat. Well, I had a chat and a think about it. And you think um, maybe there's a too much noise. Maybe there's a bit of too much noise coming from that dugout. I get I get excited and my my enthusiasm and frustration at times. Um, Takes it, takes it, um, maybe puts a little bit of anxiety and then I'll just take myself out of it. Um, 
just for a two or, two or three games. Um, and the lads, the lads on there, and it's been much more sort of, um, uh, it's been organised chaos really in the, in the dugout now. Um, and, and yeah, it was just something I thought I'd look look at a, a different angle to the to the game, um, the Wednesday game I watched high up from the gantry, um, which was really really good. Uh, and today was just down on the sidelines yeah. at a different different angle. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I I enjoy any part of the game, and I enjoy it even more when we win and the nice journey back. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome.